messages so I can understand the proceedings, then I can keep up, and then I can assist the counsel with my defense. But I can't defend myself because I don't, I, I don't comprehend what I'm defending myself against. Because what you can ask them are is, is this a de facto court? Because you are part of the government du jour. Huh? You don't have to say anything to them. You can just go in there knowing what you're dealing with, just being clear on this stuff and knowing what game is being played. And just flow through it the best way you can until you get stronger in the whole concept. And you can either fight or not. I'm not saying go into court and say anything, because if you do it and it doesn't work, you're going to be mad at me. Okay? Government is yours. And remember, in the Matrix, the chick that had the rabbit here, her name was is yours. Hmm. Everything about the matrix is telling you something about your story. And you guys know the sister that wrote that was a sister in every character in that show was supposed to be melanated. Right. Oh. Yeah. What was her name? Uh, Miss Stewart. Yeah. Sophia Stewart is the sister that wrote the matrix and the terminator. Alright, so is anybody at government du jour? Yes. Oh, you have to I'm sorry. Uh, a, a government of rights, the true and lawful government, a government established according to the constitution of the nation, of the nation and, a law, and lawfully entitled to recognition and supremacy and administration of the nation, but which is, is actually cut off from power or control. That's you. You guys in the government is yours. You're cut off from your power by people that are government de facto. Turn to government de facto. <laughs> do I need to write that down? No. All these guys do that anyway. Well, that's good that everybody knew this. So we can keep on going. I can pass this. I can pass this part. <laughs> 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 but it's okay to not comprehend, you know? It doesn't mean that you're, as the brother was saying, not smart. It means you lack knowledge. See, because when, when you go to court and they say things like, well, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Ignorance of the law is an excuse, but it's not an excuse. You're not saying that you are ignoring the law, which is what ignorance means. Ignorance means to ignore. That means you know and you just chose to ignore it. So ignorance of the law is no excuse. But I'm not ignoring the law. I'm not, I don't have ignorance of the law. I lack knowledge in reference to the law. I don't know what's going on here. And you make sure you make that clear. clear. Ignorance means to ignore. It means you know, and you say, oh, well, whatever, I don't care. Lacking knowledge is something totally different. If you lack knowledge, then you lack the capacity to understand the nature of the proceedings. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a word game. It's a play on the word. That's what makes other people count. I'm turning you over. Well, see, that's the problem. Because if you lack confidence, if they give you counsel, that's fine. But if you're not allowed to assist in your defense, which counsel won't let you do, and how much assistance can you do from behind bars, you can't reach your, your, your uh, witnesses. They're not going to spend a dime trying to find any of them. They all oh, look good on Perry Mason, but in real life, you on your own. They have the next case and the next file to deal with. If you can give them the names and phone numbers of your witnesses, they'll try to make a phone call. If somebody answers, they'll try to get them to come to court. Mm. And maybe they'll ask them what's their address so they can send them a subpoena. And if the person goes, hey, I don't want to give you my address. Oh, they'll say, well, you're going to what we couldn't do nothing with mm. So then you stuck. Mm -hmm. Which means what? You cannot assist. Yes. Who even sees those? Do they send those? Yeah. 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 They don't do those in California. <laughs> In Chicago, it's totally different. When they subpoena you and go to court, you're supposed to go. That's a part of the due process. <laughs> I hate to say I work for Crook County. I mean, Crook County. Okay. But that's right. In court, I'm, I'm, I'm a target in court, not in court, so I got a pretty good court, but I'm in the jail part. 
So I see both parts of it every day. Okay. And the problem with it is we call it crook county. There's more money in making. That's it. That's all of you. The corporations. That's all of you. That's all of you. And what does it have you guys purchased? Let me read that to me. It's not a border. The fact of. In fact, indeed, actually. This phrase. I mean, I'm sorry, my bad. Is it government de facto or de facto? Because I wanted you to turn it Government de facto. Government de facto. Yeah. Government of fact. The government has to be exercised the power as flow of state, as opposed to true and lawful government. That's where we are. That's what we're dealing with. So when you're dealing with the government de facto, 90 plus, 90 of the time you're part of the government de jure or the people de jure, and you're walking into a de facto court. And these people now turn to de facto court. Can somebody read that out loud. Okay. So you have to de facto court, see court. But it has de facto government. It just progressive government de facto. Okay, nobody sees that. All right, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna, I, okay, fine, fine. Let me let me find it here. Let me let me read it to you. Because you can go to see court, but you may or may not be able to find it. All right, all right, all right. Court. Say that again, say that again. A space, a space which is uncovered, but which may be partly or wholly enclosed by buildings or walls. Now, is that de facto court? That's court. court. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me put these also. I can deal with here. Yeah, I don't know why I write that with a hard time. Thank you. Where did you find it so they can find it? Read that for me. De facto court. One established, organized, and exercising its judicial function under authority of a statute apparently valid, though such statutes may be in fact unconstitutional and may be accurate, so a judge, or a court established and acting under the authority of a de facto government. Exactly. So, when you walk in here and you are of the, so the, the sovereign people who have been displaced from their positions of power, the government is yours, that is displaced by a government de facto, and you walk into a de facto court that appears on its face to be valid, but is most likely unconstitutional, then you do lack the capacity to stand trial. That's not saying you lack mental capacity, other than the fact that you meant you lack mental capacity in law. There's nothing wrong with your mind. You're in fair. <laughs> if you're not cognizant, they will try that. And that's what you say. There's nothing wrong with my mind. I don't comprehend your law. You don't stand. Well, what we're saying is that they're going to appoint you an attorney. Because if you don't understand the law, they're going to automatically appoint you. They're going to hook you up. Right. But if they appoint you an attorney, you still don't have the competency to stand trial because the attorney is not going to allow you to assist in your defense. In order for you to assist in your defense, you need to be able to run around. You need to be out of jail so you can run around and gather your evidence, gather your people. You need to do what you need to do to save yourself because this person is not your friend. They're a friend of the court. They work for the court. They're strangers. They're part of the de facto government. They're part of the de facto court. They're not really there to try to free you. They don't work for you. The only person to free you is yourself, and in order to do that, they need to let you assist in your uh, defense. But how are you going to accomplish that? We have to get that. Okay. That's, 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 what, that's clarity. See, I'm trying to get you clear. I'm giving you out. Now, we just got stuck on this one out. What was the out I gave you guys before that? Minority and uh, lack of mental capacity. Lack of mental capacity. 
What is some of the yeah? Now, this is how you can do that. Again, you don't have to do it. You, what you need to do today is just get clear in the concept. Go on. If you want to clear, ask your loudest. Go on. Being a minority, they 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 assuming you a minority. That's why they're giving you a lawyer. So you can turn yourself over. So he will. If you have enough clarity to not claim these out, then don't. Then don't. There are different people that know different things at different levels in this class. Some people are where you are, and they got it down past your assignment, and walk.